Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And Sandy, still a hurricane at this hour. It continues to work its way northward, but we are anticipating a turn eventually to the north and west and headed back into the uh, New Jersey coastline. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. That uh, satellite picture is showing that well-defined circulation associated with Sandy and some of the brighter white clouds there and some of the bigger thunderstorms around the center of circulation. In fact, we uh, put the colors on the satellite picture and that's how you can really tell where some of the stronger thunderstorms are. There's the center of circulation right in there and you see a lot, big flare up of thunderstorms. That's kind of helping to keep this storm going. Not the most impressive looking hurricane, that's for sure. Nonetheless, it's packing quite a punch and it's a very large hurricane. We are anticipating the storm to work its way northward, then kind of make a turn on off to the north and west, making landfall somewhere eventually uh, along the coastline of New Jersey, probably uh, in between Cape May and uh, uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey, somewhere in there. Take a look at how big the wind field is associated with this. There's the center of circulation and tropical storm force winds are expected to extend all the way into uh, Portland, Maine. We are anticipating winds of 40 to 60 miles an hour sustained for a while during the daytime on Monday and even into the daytime on Tuesday. We're still expecting to see some tropical storm force winds for a little while. All of the computer guidance that we look at beginning to kind of converge on the fact that we're going to be seeing a landfall somewhere on the uh, coastline of New Jersey, maybe near Long Island, perhaps as far south as Cape May, New Jersey. But you get the picture. We're not expecting a direct hit. That doesn't mean that we're not going to be seeing some major uh, uh, impacts. We are here in southern New England. First things first, tomorrow we're going to be seeing the conditions deteriorate slowly. Cloudy skies, the winds picking up, maybe a few rain showers, nothing heavy yet. 20 to 30 miles an hour worth of wind tomorrow evening. Further on off to the uh, east, 30 to 35 miles an hour possible on Cape Cod and the islands. Overnight tomorrow night, the winds really pick up. And first thing Monday morning, we could have some very strong winds here in southern New England, 30 to 50 miles an hour, gusting to 60 across a good portion of Rhode Island. But it's down here along the south coast, uh, say from westerly all the way into Narragansett, across the bay, Newport, Little Compton, and uh, Cape Cod and the islands. We could be seeing wind gusts up to uh, 75 miles an hour. That's wind gusts gusting up to hurricane strength, hurricane strength being 74 miles an hour. Problem here is that we're seeing these uh, prolonged Long easterly winds continuing to pile up the water into southern New England. The end result will be some coastal flooding, big waves crashing on the shoreline, getting into the roadways. And also, uh, we're also going to be seeing a storm surge with this storm, generally three to five feet on top of the uh, uh, mean tide. Looking at 823 as the high tide on Monday. That's the one that we're watching for the most closely. That's when we could be seeing some of the uh, most coastal flooding associated with storms surge and the big waves that we're seeing again again three to five foot storm surge expected around Narragansett Bay and uh, around Rhode Island Sound as well coastal flood watches are in effect for Monday all of Narragansett Bay and Rhode Island waters as well as the uh, eastern shores of Massachusetts the wave height this is tremendous out there in the middle of the ocean 32 foot wave height forecasted by computer models. Now we're not going to be seeing that, but we could be seeing 10 to 15 foot breakers here on the coastline of uh, Rhode Island and Massachusetts. We haven't talked a lot about rain because we're not expecting to see a lot in our area. Maybe an inch to an inch and a half here in the ocean state nearby Massachusetts, but take a look at the mid-Atlantic states. Five to 10 inches of rain expected in that part of the world. Rain and increasing wind expected on Sunday. Some rain showers. Strongest wind will be tomorrow uh, Monday evening and uh, coastal flooding is possible on Monday beach erosion possible on Monday that's also when we'll be seeing that uh, three to five foot storm surge but for tomorrow again lots of clouds maybe a few showers around in the afternoon nothing terribly widespread some of the heavier rain will likely arrive on Monday along with the strongest of the winds Winds fairly busy into the daytime on Tuesday as well, and then we'll begin to dry out toward uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday time frame. But tomorrow is definitely a day to uh, prepare yourselves. You probably won't have much of an opportunity on Monday because by Monday morning, the winds will be very strong around here. So get rid of all the loose stuff in your yard and put it away. All that right. time of year anyway, right? Right, exactly. Thanks for the advice, TJ.